Hi there, today we're gonna to practice identifying shapes. So there are two parts you need to know when identifying a shape. You need to know how many sides a shape has, how many sides, and how many angles. Now the first thing you need to remember with this is that however many sides you have, you're gonna have exactly the same amount of angles. So sides and angles are always the same. Let's take a look at a shape right now. Now here is a shape that you probably recognize. We've been talking about sides. Here is a side. Here is a side. And here is a side. Now a side is just the line that connects two points. Here's a point here and Here's a point here. So this shape here has three sides. And we've spoken about angles. These points I'm talking about, those are the angles. So there are one, two, three angles. And this shape here is called a triangle. Now let's go look at some four-sided shapes. Okay, now we're looking at some four-sided shapes. Each one of these has four sides and four angles. And they're called, there's a special term for it, they're called quadrilaterals. Quad meaning four. Quadrilaterals. So this shape here might look really familiar to you. This is a square. A square has four sides and they're all equal in length. They're exactly the same. They also have four right angles. Each one of these angles are right angles. Next here we have a rectangle. Now a rectangle looks a lot like a square, but its sides are not equal length. This side here is equal to this side over here. This side right here is equal to this side right here. It also has right angles. Now this shape here looks a lot like a rectangle. It has four sides, but it has something very special about it. It has what's called parallel lines. These lines will run on and on and they'll never meet. Same with this right here, this line, run on and on. It will also never meet this line. These are called parallel lines. But a parallelogram doesn't have right angles. So this rectangle here is a parallelogram that has lines that will not run into each other. But a standard parallelogram does not have right angles. So this is a parallelogram. Next here we have what's called a trapezoid. A trapezoid also has four sides, but it does have a little difference from our parallelogram here. It has one set of lines here that are not parallel. If we look at this two sets of lines, they are eventually going to run into each other. It means they're not parallel. But it does have one set of lines that are parallel. That's how you know it's a trapezoid. Finally, we have here what's called a rhombus. Now a rhombus looks a lot like our square over here, but it does not have right angles. Their angles are not right. And that's how you can tell the difference between a square and a rhombus. So all of these are called quadrilaterals. Now let's go look at some shapes with more sides. Okay, here we find some shapes that have more than four sides. First, here we have a shape with five sides. Now five-sided shape is called a pentagon. Next here, we have a six-sided shape. And
And a six-sided shape is called a hexagon. Finally, here we have an eight-sided shape. An eight-sided shape, you can think of like a stop sign as an eight-sided shape, is called an octagon. Now, an octagon, you hear the word oct, like oct an octopus has eight arms. So pentagon, hexagon, octagon. Let's go do some review. Here we find ourselves in the geometry house. Now, the geometry house has all kinds of different shapes throughout the house. And we're going to try and figure out some of the shapes here. Do you see a triangle? Point your finger to the triangle. Did you point right here? You're right. The roof is a triangle. It has three sides. How about a rhombus? Do you see a rhombus anywhere? If you pointed to these windows here, you're completely correct. Each one of these windows is a rhombus. So we had a triangle here, a rhombi as it is, right here. Each one of those look like a square, but they don't have right angles. Do you see a rectangle? Did you point to the door? The door is a rectangle. It has two different equal sides. This is the rectangle. Now see if you can find a pentagon. I bet you found more than one. Look at our bushes here. They're all pentagons, five-sided shapes. That right there is a pentagon. Now do you see a square? Point with your finger to the square on your screen. Did you point right here? That is a square. The main building is a square. And finally, do you see a parallelogram anywhere? If you pointed to the chimney, give yourself a pat on the back. That is a parallelogram. Remember, a parallelogram has two sets of parallel lines, but they don't always have right angles just like this one right here. Today we've been practicing identifying shapes. There are shapes all throughout your house. See if you can figure out where there are triangles, where there are rectangles, where there are squares. Make sure to count the sides and remember the sides and the angles are the same amount. Great job and I can't wait to talk to you more about math soon.